Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy, Ninja Heal. And welcome back guys to a brand new MCU review here on the channel today. Yeah guys, you see that I already have my room already decorated for Christmas. Uh, you guys already see that already. Yeah guys, there's some, there's some light issues uh, right over... There's a light issue right over here, which I cannot fix that, but... Yeah guys, but... I will let you guys know that yes, I got my room decorated for right the whole activity. You also see some lights down over here and over here as well. So, yeah, these are hot. But yeah. But of course, guys, I will really let you guys know I have these up of when I do my Christmas reviews up this month. So, yeah, and happy December, everybody. We only have 24 days left until Christmas, which I'm like, oh my gosh. But yeah. But welcome back, guys, to a brand new Marvel review. If you guys are excited for this video, make sure you guys go down below. Hit that like button down below. Maybe we can get this video to five likes. That would be greatly appreciated. And I would love it so much if you guys could do that. That would be amazing. That would really help my channel a lot. And I would love it so much if you guys could help me out. That would be amazing. Also, if this is your first time here, then click that subscribe button down below. I need you guys' help. I'm trying to get this channel to 2,000 to uh, 3,000 subscribers by June, by June, yeah, by June 8th, 2024. So if you guys can help me out, that would be amazing. That would really help my channel a lot. Also, guys, hit that notification bell to never miss when I upload a Marvel review because there's a few. That might be coming up later. I don't really know, but yeah. But please, guys, do that. I don't want to see yeah. Also, guys, share this video with your friends, the family, and make sure you guys go down below. Go subscribe to my two other channels. Link is in the description down below. So in our last uh, uh, Christmas, my last Marvel review, I review you guys. Tuesday, I give you guys a little bit short review of my. Uh, uh, I grew season 2 because I never have the chance to review it for you guys which I did a short little review of it but yeah if you guys want to go check it out go check it out on my channel and oh you guys can check it down below because I don't really know but yeah so yeah today guys I will be uh, reviewing you guys Loki season 2 now before this before we start up the video disclaimers this is a spoiler overview so if you haven't seen Loki Season 2 yet, it just recently came out, uh, and uh, a couple weeks back, the finale just came out a couple uh, weeks back. So if you haven't had the chance to watch Loki Season 2 yet, then make sure you guys click off the video because if you guys don't, if you guys don't care. But if you care a lot about the MCU, and you really want to watch the season but you haven't yet, Click up now, because uh, I'll be talking about a lot of things in this video. So I'll be talking about a lot in this video. So if you don't want to be scared, if you guys don't want to get spoiled, then click up now. But before you click up, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, share this video if you guys want to do, guys. But you guys can save this review for later because if you guys don't know, guys, yes, guys, this video will be uploaded. Uh, I can't look at that type, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know about that, so, yeah, so again, disclaimers, this is a spoiler overview, so, again, click up now, the, the spoiler all starts up in 3, 2, 1, oh my gosh, this season is by far my favorite MCU season of all time, I love Loki season 2. I love the way how Marvel really worked on this se second season. I love this season so much. It's pretty much like, it's better than the first season, in my opinion. A little bit better than the first season, because the first season is still amazing. This one is a little bit better than the first season, in my opinion. A little bit, just a teensy little bit. But yeah, but Lucky Season 2 for me was fantastic. And I love it so much, so yeah. And I actually do have the cast right here about the characters, so yeah. So let's start up with the one and only Tom Hiddleston as Loki. 
If you guys don't know, guys, Loki's my favorite character during the MCU of all time. Uh, he's right under Spider-Man for me. My top three favorite characters in the in the MCU are Tony Stark, Spider-Man, and Loki. Those are my three favorite characters in the MCU. I love Loki. For me, I really love Loki in this season because the way how Marvel really worked on Loki's story and all of that. I by far really think that Loki was amazing in this season. I really love of how well they really did with his character. I really like what they did because Loki is having a problem about the timeline. And he is time clapping, a time space in a time, whatever it's called. Uh, Loki has a problem on a few things, but yeah. But for me, I really enjoy how well they really work on Loki's character. By far. The way how he worked on finding a way to get out of this time skipping failure, this time skipping failure that he has been going through, talking to all his friends, trying to figure out how to fix this loom. Because this loom, because if you don't know, you have to remember that you guys have to remember in season one, Sylvia, he, she killed he who remains, and then the whole entire timeline just went up. You see a lot of time biddies going off if you see the finale of Loki, season one. But, you know that. So Loki's plan is to get all his friends together to find a way to, to find a way to fix this loom. To figure out all of that. To figure out what's going on in all of that. And let's just see, yeah. To find a way how to do with this loom and all of that, all of that stuff. And this is very important because Loki, I'm going to talk about the end of Loki, but just, I'm going to talk about the end of Loki in a little bit, but yeah. But Loki in general, Loki is an amazing character in the season. But I'm trying to figure out a way how he can fix the time because he was one of the people who messed up the timeline. He's the one of the people to mess up the timeline because if you don't know, guys, look, you you remember in Avengers Endgame? Do you guys remember? Do you guys remember in Avengers Endgame when the Avengers went back in time and they saw the giant get all the Infinity Stones? Loki took the the Space Stone, the Tesseract. And went to a different timeline. Go to a different timeline. Which the TPA came out saying like. You cannot do that. You have to go back to your time. But they decided that Loki. Is one of the people. Who is working for the TPA. He's the one. Because if you don't know guys. Loki is going to be important. In the multiverse saga. Especially in the season. Especially in the series. But yeah. It's so weird uh, that I have. If you guys don't know, guys, I have this light bitty. You can see my glasses, that whole entire light bitty right there. Yeah, guys, I got myself a light projector. It's not the same one I used last year, but I got that one uh, this year. But yeah, but for yeah, I got that one last year. I got that, uh, which you guys don't see it. But yeah, but I'm not going to show it for you guys because I got, I, I did have this camera perfectly Set it what I want to do, but yeah, but yeah, guys. But I want to let you guys, but yeah, but Loki, just in general, Loki in general, my favorite MCU character of all time. I love it, I love Loki so much. I really want to get Loki on 4K, I want to get Loki season one at 4K, and I can't wait for Loki season two to get that 4K steelbook as well. I, it's not a limited time only, it's just physical. Oh, that will be in stock again and again and again, but yeah. But again, with Loki's character, the way how Marvel really did with his character in here, about finding a way how to fix the timeline and all of that, it's just amazing that Loki can control time. Loki can control time. That's really interesting, and I want to talk. And yeah, but Loki is a basic character, and I really love Loki. But yeah, I'm gonna go back and talk about Loki a bit later. But yeah, next up we got is Owen Wilson as Mobius. I 
really enjoy. I really, really like Mobius. Mobius for me is a great character. I enjoy Mobius in the first season, and I really enjoy him a lot in this season as well. I really enjoy uh, how well Mobius' character really is. For me, I love Mobius. Mo Mo not the movie Mobius, the movie Mo the movie Mobius was all white slash almost was a bad movie, but I'm talking about Mobius in here. Ancient Mobius. I do enjoy Ancient Mobius in this movie. In this show. I really enjoy of how well they worked on the story, of how well this film was really made. I really like what they did with the series and how they worked together on making the series possible and how the series really, really work. Again, it works very, very well for me. It, it, it does. It works very, very well on camera and all that. I really love this season because because what Mobius did with the season was very really interesting. And I love Owen Wilson. As one of my favorite actors of all time, Owen Wilson is an amazing character. You, if you guys remember, guys, he plays Lightning McQueen in Cars. And he plays in other movies as well. But Owen Wilson is amazing. He has a great character arc in this show. He has something amazing related to his character and all that. I really, really enjoy a lot of what they did with Loki's character, and that's what I really like. I mean, Mobius' character, so yeah. Next that we got is Sophia D. Baldo, Baldo, whatever how you pronounce her last name, as Sylvie. I really enjoy Sylvie this season, but Sylvie is a really interesting character in here. I really enjoy the how well Sylvie really did with this season, of how well they really worked on her character, I think Marvel did a great job with her character. And I can't wait to see her again in the future of the MCU. I can't, I can't wait until I see her in some movie for, for yeah. But let me see if I ever could try and fix the light a little bit more. How did that work? That works a little bit better. Maybe, but I, 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 that works a little bit more better in my opinion, but yeah. Dude. That's a little bit more better in my opinion, but yeah. But yeah, but I really enjoy ugh, go back to where I was. I this is just good enough. This is just good enough. But yeah. But Sylvie, I really enjoy how well Sylvie was I really enjoy Sylvie. Sylvie is one of those characters that I really enjoyed. Again, she said, I am not one of the people who wants to talk to you. Said that she worked for a McDonald's. She worked at a McDonald's. <laughs> I can't believe it that McDonald's is in this movie. In this show. I mean, in this show. I enjoy it. I don't hate of what they did with this season. I really enjoy Sylvie a bit more this season. Because Sylvie is supposed to be Loki's love interest in this movie. In this show. Why did I always say movies? Because I always watch more movies than like shows. Uh, oh my gosh. But yeah. But I really like uh, of how well uh, they do with Sylvie's character. I do enjoy Sylvie. Sylvie is one of the greatest characters ever. In my opinion. So yeah. She didn't want to work for Loki and all of that. It's super weird because with Loki in episode 5 with Loki... When Loki uh, uh, went to this different time where he went into this death uh, and he went made into this new universe that he had to group up everybody else. But guess what? Guess what happened? Loki was telling uh, Sylvie about it's a long story I need to come here. And it's super weird. Sylvie remembers everything. Well, the reason why I know Sylvie remembers everything is because Ho and Loki are the same character. Sylvie is the female favorite of uh, Loki. She's the female version of Loki. And I really enjoyed the, the uh, conversations, uh, the conversations uh, that they have uh, with Loki and Sylvie. As a relationship, I really enjoyed uh, their relationship in this show. And how they really, really worked uh, Things out uh, about uh, and all of that. Again, Sylvie, again, is one of the greatest characters in the Loki show, India. 
Next up we got is Wendy B. Whatever how to pronounce her first name. Basaku. I don't know her name. As Hutter as Hutter B fifteen. I think Hutter B fifteen was pretty good. She has like uh I'm not gonna talk about her too much. She's supposed to be a hunter in order to test up at the TPA. She was the one to capture Loki in season one. So yeah, but yeah. But I do enjoy her to be fifteen. She's very really enjoyable, so yeah. Next thing we got is Gayu Bafatha Wow as Wafanda Winslayer. Ravonna, uh, Wave Slaver, Wave Slayer, uh, Ravonna, Ravonna, no, 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 it's Ravonna. Ravonna is enjoyable, like, she's good. We know what happened to her after Loki Season 2, uh, after Loki Season 1, she disappeared uh, to do her own thing. And she said, I know, like, and she said in, I believe it was episode 3, when they went into this car or something like that, she said to Mobius, I am not working for you anymore. Sorry, but we are enemies. We are enemies, and you know that. Because, uh, yeah, because all she really wants to do is because, if you guys don't know, guys, in the comics, uh, Raphona and Kane are actually married in the comics. And... Yeah. It's interesting uh, with Ken's character. And I think, yeah, Ravonna will come back for Secret, will be coming back for Kane Dynasty. And she will be working with Kane. It makes a lot of sense for her character. And yeah, I do enjoy her character. Ravonna is just good. In order to stuff. So yeah. Next up we got is. Yuji Cordrio as Casey. Casey's very good. I do enjoy his character of what uh, he does. He's supposed to be like the computer guy and all of that. I do enjoy Casey because the way how... I do enjoy Casey's character. For what Casey Kawaga is, it's a joke. It's like, it's like, it's really like... With him being like a computer family, be beside his side, be beside Loki, helping him figure it out how to put all the things together and all of that. And uh, the whole time uh, and all of that. Really enjoyable of how well Marvel did with his character. And I really like uh, what Michael Waldron did with the script for all of this and all of that. Well, he's the side one. I don't remember who it I don't remember who was the writers of the series, but yeah. Next we got is Rafa Rafa Kostler as Brad Wolfy slash Hunter X5. Brad is Brad slash Hunter uh, Hunter uh, X5. Hunter X5 is good. Like he's like a funny character, and he's like he's like one of my favorite hunters here, and I do enjoy Hunter X5. But what he is, he's really enjoyable. Really enjoyable character, really great character in the series. And in my opinion, he's really, really great. Next we got is Tara Strong as Miss Minutes. Miss Minutes, she's... It kind of feels like Miss Minutes is becoming the bad guy. Oh may I say, bad girl. And yeah, Miss Minutes is way. Miss Minutes is. She's good. She's kind of creepy at first. Like, she's like. She's really weird. Like, Miss Minutes is one of the weirdest characters in the Loki show. Because, one, well, she's a digital being. She helps us. She's a digital clock. Miss Minutes is a clock. And I like that. It's very, really, very really interesting. So, yeah. Next thing we got is Key. Hugh Cagli as OB, okay, a OB, all the Boris, all Boris. Uh, I do enjoy OB. The actor who plays OB is actually the kid from Indiana Jones 2, which is the prequel to the first film. But yeah, 
I really enjoyed the Opie. Opie is very funny, like, he's a very funny character that he talks very fast, like, Oh look, time skipping! <laughs> like, he's very fast, and like, what we need to do is we need to find a way, we need to put, we have to put this machine together. And, and, like, I enjoy Opie. Opie is pretty much one of my favorite characters in Loki Season 2. This is his first debut, this is his first debut in the MCU. And I enjoyed Opie a lot, so yeah. And then finally, you got Jonathan Majors as He Who Remains in Victor Timely. Talk about, let's talk about Victor Timely. Victor Timely is great. About him being like a little bit more like interesting characters, like, like the way that he talking his accent is like, we need to. Uh, Put this in that, that together. Like it's like that. It's like it's like that. It's like this is this 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 is my invention. Like like Victor Tyler is a favorite of Kane Kakuro. and he's like a good guy. He's like the good guy and. He's not the good guy version of Kane in the MCU. And with him in the season, I do enjoy Victor Timely. Victor Timely is good. Victor is very good. Great character arc. And the way how he helped Loki try to put this loom together and all of that. Him and Obi working together to find that because Loki, like, whatever, and all of that. And of course, at the same time, Rafaela, Rafaela, Rafaela is trying to get Victor Timely to be a bad guy, trying to be the new one to take over the world. But Victor Timely, all he wants to do is he doesn't want to get any harm. He's just a good guy. He doesn't want to hurt nobody. He's just an inventor. He invents stuff. Like he invented the Luma. He invented the Luma, and that's what was going on. And all of that. And Victor Tyler is very good. He Who Remains appear as a cameo in episode 5. He appears, I think, yeah, he appears, no, he appears in episode 6. Trying to stop a Sylvie for killing He Who Remains. You guys know, you can't fix the timeline. Every single time you go back to the timeline, it always not work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Like every single time Loki's trying to stop Sylvie for killing He Who Remains, Sylvie always kills him. And yeah, and He Who Remains talk to Loki and he knows what's going on because he's been through this a lot. In fact, Timely, the, I mean, uh, He Who Remains, he and Loki talked about how you cannot change the timeline and it, you can't do that. He Who Remains is supposed to be the good guy. He's supposed to be the good guy. He's supposed to be keeping the timeline safe. He means no harm. And all that. And Loki try as much as he can to stop Sylvie the, for killing he who remains. And of course. And all that. And what I really like about the season is uh, the characters and the story that they did. I really like the story of what they did, and they really set up uh, the next few Avengers films. And I want to talk about how episode 12 of Loki is by far my favorite episode of all time, because it has like a theme that is amazing, it has like... Dude, no, wait, I don't know what the theme was, I don't remember how the theme goes. Uh, I don't remember how the theme goes, but it goes somewhere. Like the old song, uh, like the... No, that's not how it goes. I haven't seen this, I haven't seen the finale in a couple of weeks. So, yeah. But I really like that uh, episode 6 of season 2. Episode 6, episode 2 is by far one of my favorite episodes. Because Loki's going back in time. He's like, like he's going like fast, trying to figure out a way. We need to go faster. We need to go faster. We need to get the beats to go faster for the sun. <laughs> it's amazing. Like, Loki Season 2 is just amazing. The finale is just amazing. 
Chalokis tried to fix the lube, but he couldn't decode it. So, in my opinion, in my opinion, the best part about the season was the finale. How Loki went into space where he was trying to control everything and he is controlling the timeline. He's controlling all of these time warps with his hands. He's grabbing them. He's grabbing them like a weapon. He's trying to put together the timeline and all of that. And then he sat and he grabbed the whole tower, the timeline, the, the branches. It's like he's grow. He's like he's grabbing the branches and he's making all of them grab it. And he is sitting. Oh, we got this cape. All Loki really wants to do in the end is he really wants to be on the throne. That's all he really wants to be is on the throne, and all of that. So Loki controlled these time, the timeline, and Loki made his own multiverse. He made his own timeline, which we believe that the multiverse is controlled by Loki now because something interesting is coming up because Loki Season 2 actually ties into other projects like Deadpool 3, Avengers The King Dynasty, The King Dynasty in Secret Wars. And it's really, really interesting to think about that. And yeah. But Loki made a tree. Loki made a tree. And we all know that Loki's new name is called God Loki. That's what they call him. God Loki. He's the god of stories. He's the god of time. So he can control... The timeline. He can control time and he can bring in with this timeline. He fixed the timeline. He can bring people back from the dead. So he could bring back his lucky self who died in Infinity War. Bring that body back to life and all of that. Because we have heard that Loki and Thor are going to team up again soon. They're going to make their own reunion and they're going to be bringing them back. And I have heard there's a possibility that Loki is going to be in uh, Thor 5. Which I have heard that Thor 5 is going to be the darkest one of all of for Thor. Because Thor is going to be going through a lot right now. Because he lost, uh, if you guys don't know guys, in Love and Thunder, he lost uh, his girlfriend. Which they broke up, but they united again. But yeah. But of course, with this film right, with this series right here, it sets up endless possibilities. It ends up, it it has, you can figure out a way how you fix the timeline and how you do all of that. And that's what I really like about Loki Season 2 is how they put together Loki and all these characters and how they put together the story. You need to find a good story how to bring back Marvel. Loki is making a story right now. Loki is the best part of Marvel right now. That's the only best part of Marvel right now. You have of course your other Disney Plus shows, but people is saying that Phase 4 is the, re the worst phase in all of them. It's because they haven't made a story. They haven't combined a story. Which they have been beginning with Loki. Loki was setting up the story. It was Loki, Spider-Man No Way Home, Doctor Strange 2. They are setting up the story of Kane Dynasty in Secret Wars and all of that. And also, and all of that, I'm really excited to see what they do with Loki because I have heard, I have heard from the actor who plays Loki, he said it himself that he might not be coming back, like he is done playing Loki for right now and he will come back in the near future. Some people said that he's not going to be coming back until the K Dynasty. But in my opinion, if Loki, if Marvel Studios has a plan to do with Loki, like again, if that report, like there's a report like a couple of months ago that Loki and Thor would come back together. You gotta remember that Loki is the oldest one. And Loki is my favorite one. I prefer Loki over Thor because Loki is by far, if you don't know guys, Loki has been one of my favorite MCU characters since the beginning of time. Since the beginning of the MCU. I love Loki and he will always be 
my favorite character of all time in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. With Loki being my favorite Disney Plus show of all time, and I prefer that for me, my top three favorite shows at Disney Plus I saw is one, Loki, two, Mandalorian, and three, Well, I don't actually have a third favorite. My two only favorite shows are Loki and Mandalorian. Those are like my two favorite ones that I saw. But yeah, which I haven't seen Mandalorian since the three, which I still need to go back to review most stuff uh, of Star Wars in the future. That's what I'm going to try and get back to next month, next year, is to try and get back to Star Wars. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, because I need to review on this channel. Bad Batch, uh, Season 2, and uh, Mental World Season 3, Ahsoka, but I can't watch Ahsoka, but I can watch Ahsoka, but I see the Clone Wars, but I haven't seen Rebels, which I need to watch those before watching it, so, expect a long uh, delay on that show, but yeah, but yeah guys, but again guys, that's why I'm gonna end up on Loki season two with you guys. I love the back. I love the story of these six episodes. I'm setting up this multiverse and setting up how to fix the timeline and all this stuff. All the characters are amazing. So yeah, what do I give the series from uh, the scale one to ten? I give this one a nine point five out of ten. There's a problem. The reason why I don't give this a perfect season is that this is not perfect. This is amazing, but it's not a perfect season. I give this one a 9.5 out of 10 because it's very fun. And this is a very, very, very fun season. But yeah. Uh, final score at 95%. Critically, I give this one an A+. Loki Season 2 is a good treat for you guys. And Loki Season 2 will be a good treat for all you guys to watch. So yeah. Stay tuned guys because the next review will be The Marvels. Which... The Marvels is going to be the next one, which is going to be an interesting one because I haven't seen Infiltrators and that film is bombing at the box office. Only made $188 million in three weeks. The movie is going to bomb. The movie is only going to make like about $200 million. It's not going to make a lot of money. It's going to be a big... Ch it's going to be like... It's going to be like... Uh, the Flash uh, bomb. And something like that. So yeah. I hope you guys do enjoy this review. If you guys have, then hit that like button down below. Let's try and hit this video. Let's try and hit this video. Like, can we try and get this video to five likes? That would be greatly appreciated, and I would love that a lot. Let's go see. Also, guys, make sure you guys go down below and go subscribe. And also, guys, make sure you guys go down below and click that subscribe button down below. I need you guys' help. I'm trying to get this channel to three hundred subs to three to three thousand subs 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 3,000 subscribers by June 8th, 2024. If we can hit that in time, that would be cool. That would be amazing. And I would love it so much if you guys can help me out. Also, hit that notification bell to never miss when I upload a Marvel review. So, yeah. Also, guys, make sure you guys go down below and share this video with your friends and your family. And make sure you guys go down below and go subscribe to my two other channels. I need your help on my gaming channel. I'm trying to get my gaming channel to 500 subscribers by the end of the year. We are getting so close to passing that number. So if you guys could go down below and subscribe to my gaming channel, that would be amazing. So yeah, that would be one of the links in the description down below. You guys can work at Epic's going to be called NMG Smash Gaming. So if you guys see that link, click that link and subscribe to my gaming channel because I have a lot of other stuff I'm trying to get done with on that channel. So and all that stuff, so if you guys can help me out, that would be amazing. Also guys, uh, make sure you guys go down below, go subscribe to my Crystal channel. I need your help on my Crystal channel. I'm trying to get my Crystal channel to 3,000 subscribers by the end of April. The by, the, by June 8th, 2024. So I'm trying to get this channel and my Crystal channel to 3,000 subscribers on the same day, June 8th, 2024. So if you guys can help me out on both of these channels, all of these three channels, that would be amazing. See ya. See ya, guys. Stay tuned, guys, because the next one would be the Marvels. Don't forget to go down below, click that subscribe button to join the Ninja Nation army, and stick around. Go check out more of my other videos. 
and I will see my Loki and MCU fans next time. Peace.